Um, <laughs> it's great. I mean, I'm so new to the to the franchise. I, this was my first year last year, and then we got our pickup order order for the 20th season. Um, it was amazing to watch Mariska and Dick Wolf together and to see the history there and the friendship that they've created over the years. Um, and yeah, I mean, to be a part of this in any way, any way at all, is quite amazing. So it was, it was talk, nice to be there. Talk to me about your journey, how you came onto the show. So I met with Dick Wolf about three, two and a half, three years ago. We had a meeting about Chicago Justice, which was the fourth installment of the uh, Chicago franchise that they had going on with Med, Fire, and PD. And he said, look, this is the character, this is the show. Um, I don't know if you're the guy. And I said, look, I don't know if I'm the guy either. I, I was coming out of an action background. I'd done Strike Back for four years, and I'd done The Player and some other various things. And I said, look, I jump out of helicopters and shoot guns and punch people in the face. And he said, I don't need you to do that. I need you to punch people with your eyes, is what Dick Wolf said. And I said, well, look, let's give it a shot. If you don't like me, you can get rid of me. And he said, yeah, cool. So we did a crossover episode with PD. We got picked up. We did a 13-episode arc on Chicago Justice, which was this new show. and. Uh, Unfortunately, Justice didn't go, but the next day I got a phone call from Dick, and he said, hey, sorry about that, showbiz, uh, what do you think about New York? I said, well, yeah, what, do, what do you mean? He said, well, I, th I want to move your character to Law and & Order. And I was like, wow, I mean, you're Dick Wolf, what am I going to say to you? So I moved my family to New York, I plugged into uh, the 19th season of Law & Order, halfway through episode 13. Uh, Raul and I had some scenes together and he left and I came in, um, Sam Waterston was there. It was this, it was kind of a, for me as a, as a young actor, it was so much history and so much happening that first episode. So uh, I was very honored to be taken over. That doesn't happen very often. Usually a show gets canceled and you're, you're in the audition room the next day or that afternoon. So for Dick Wolf to pick up the phone and ask was quite an honor and a privilege. So Mariska is the guest of honor this year she at is. the festival. Oh, just a quick word on her. What's it like working with her? I don't know if you saw the speech that she gave about grace and about forgiveness and the world that we live in nowadays, but that is really who she is. She's really that person. And she's that person on set when you're working with her. She's that person off of set. One of the things that I found most amazing about Mariska is that she she creates this environment on the set for younger actors to come through and make mistakes and learn. Not many people do that. And she's done this for, she's done this for 20 years now. And it's a safe place for the up and coming generation of actors to come through, to take risks, and to figure out who they are as performers. And the fact that she allows that as the number one on the call sheet is phenomenal. What kind of a TV watcher are you? What do you like? Uh, so I don't have cable. Uh, I have to go next door to my neighbor Wanda's house to watch Law and Order because we don't have TV. Um, I, I like to, you know, I'll binge watch some stuff now and then with my wife. I have a three-year-old girl, so my time is pretty, it's pretty condensed with her. And then if we have time in the evening to ourselves, we have a glass of wine and sit on the deck. So, so I don't watch a lot of TV, to be honest with you. How much do you feel the influence of the new way people are watching TV with all the streaming platforms? Yeah, I think, look, I think it's about time. I think the audience has been telling us what they want to see for years. And, uh, you know, with things like Netflix and Amazon and, uh, and Hulu, you know, ways which audiences can do what they want to do on their time, I think this is about time. It's about time we listen to them. They're the people giving, you know, they're the people giving us their time and letting us into their homes. So we need to give them what they want as well. What's one thing about you that might surprise viewers that they don't know? Um, so let's see, when I was 18, Okay, no, we'll go even further back. One thing they don't know, when I was uh, in sixth grade, I was bit by a gerbil and I got the bubonic plague. Is that true? It's true. <laughs> and I nearly died. Thank God you did. Well, I did, yeah. 